always wanted a big shaggy dog and of course I went and investigated different breeds. Do you mind if we pet your dog? Oh, go right ahead. We have a question for you. We want to know how he, he sees through his hair. <laughs> what I wanted is a big dog that wouldn't have to worry about stepping on it and breaking it and something like that. And when it could live in an apartment and not demand too much, you know, attention as far as exercise and that would be satisfied staying there during the day and he'd get his exercise in the evening when we came home and that. And turned out an old English sheepdog was my solution. Old English Sheepdogs, or OES for short, were officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1905. But their numbers have climbed since the 50s, when they were popularized in the movies and television. Jim Kaplan and his wife Grace are East Coast suburbanites who own four dogs, Jordan, Chloe, Ray, and Dallas. Old English Sheepdogs combine muscle with charm. When bred responsibly, they're like big, sweet, lumbering teddy bears. This is a kind of dog that wants to be with you. They're a family dog. They are with you all the time. Old English Sheepdogs make great pets. Ivy, what is that? They're very sweet. They're bright. They're very funny. They're real intuitive. They know when there's something wrong. They know when you're happy. Originally, Old English Sheepdogs were used as droving dogs, which means they would push stock along a country road or down an alleyway, and they were very multi-purpose. And nowadays, there are very few Old English that are actually herding. The more widely used border collies exploit their aggressive stares, frenetic energy, and active minds to command a flock. Old English are more forceful and bear-like. They depend on their brawn rather than a look to move charges along. And while border collies can work either on their own or with human partners, the shaggier sheepdogs typically work with humans. As they do, they display their distinctive, energy-efficient gait. Old English sheepdogs pretty much are known for their amble gait, and that's rare in a lot of the breeds, and that most breeds you would not want a dog ambling or pacing, which means the legs on the same side of the body are moving at the same time. Normally that's a fall, but in the Old English that is expected, and that helps them over a long distance. Show dogs and darlings. The Old English I see are pretty much high energy, very good people dogs, they very much love kids, they like to be around people. Shepherds and jokers. They're clowns, they roll over on their backs and they shake their legs up in the air. Rambunctious, high maintenance. Old English sheepdogs generally are like a teenager all the time. Loyal, protective, and affectionate. When carefully bred, they make great pets, if you can put up with all that hair.